Welcome to Archibald Car Shop today. It's Steve Tony Walk Round Appraisal. We've got a Ford Car Z Tech. It's a 65 plate in silver. Nice low miles. Let's have a little walk around to show you how we get on. Purpose of the video is just to show you there's no bad damage on the vehicle, no bad dents, scuffs, or scrapes. That the guys has per the photos we've put on our website. So we'll start with the front end, front bumper. It's just to show you that there's no bad damage on the car, so all looking nice at the front there. Obviously, it is, it is used to get on, it's not a brand new car, so it could be some minor, minor bit of wear and tear. As we always say, maybe hot stone chip hot surface mark. It's been touched in or something, but overall, it should be in excellent condition. So that's all looking nice and tidy. So, front passenger side wing and wheel arch, all looking good. My wheel, nice and tidy. Front passenger door. All looking good. And the housing all intact, looking nice. So into the rear of the car. Rear wheel and quarter panel. All looking tidy. Up onto the roof. Absolutely spot on. So, do check that rear wheel. Don't know if we did or not. Just check that rear wheel. Absolutely fine. Apologies for the device. Memory not what it used to be. Getting older now. So, do apologise. Okay, rear bumper looking beautiful. Absolutely spot on. To the tailgate, tailgate looking fine. Like I said, no dead scuffs or scrapes. Have a little look inside, nice little boot area, storage compartment there. Look, it's nice and deep, goes a fair way down. Obviously, the parcel shelf there as well. So, not bad for a little city car. So, I'll come around onto the rear of the driver's side now. Wheel and quarter panel, wheel arch, all looking absolutely fine. All right, spot on. Driver's door again, no worries there. Really, really nice car, it's a lovely condition. Ideal first car for somebody just starting out on the road or as a second car. And that alloy. Absolutely fine as well. I think uh, historically these are pretty cheap to insure. Great on fuel. Okay, driver's door card. We've got your electric door mirrors just there. And the rest of that door card, just to show you that there's no scrapes or bad damage on there. It's all looking nice and tidy. Quick look in the back. A bit of upholstery, that brings through. Let's show you the seats. So we've got two headrests there, look. And your proper inertia seat belts on either side. And as you can see, that upholstery is looking absolutely spot on. Can't see uh, no rips or tears or anything, absolutely fine. Onto the driver's seat. Obviously, it's going to be some wear and tear, but overall, it's looking good. I can't see no holes, no stitching damage or rips or anything, so that's looking good. So let's have a sit inside. Okay. Well, we will just start her up. If for nothing else, get the heat on so I can defrost a little bit. The beak there just because the car does need a drop of fuel. You can just see there, look, all in low fuel. Nothing uh, sinister. So you've got some uh, multi functions on the steering wheel here. If you, you've got uh, voice commands for certain, uh, certain things, certain instructions. Um, over in the centre, we've got your uh, radio CD player. And further down here, we've got heated screen. Perhaps get my finger on there. Heated screen, heated rear window on there. Hazard warning lights as well. The car does have the auto stop start, where in certain circumstances, when you come to traffic, if you're stopping traffic and you're not the car, again, let the clutch out the car, may turn off, put the clutch in, the car starts up again. If you don't like it, you press that button it will deactivate it 
but you do have to do that every time you start a fresh journey because the system will reset. Um, obviously your, your heat here, four speed blower just there, look. We've got air recirculate or direct in. Actually direct will find a way you want it to go. And then we do have electric windows in the front. Uh, five speed manual gearbox. If I just go a bit lower down there, look, you will see that we've got a 12 volt socket with a little uh, car logo there. And at the bottom there, uh, there's a USB socket as well. Let's just cover it up. Cup holder just there. And if I just turn to the rear, you'll see there's a cup holder in the back as well. Let's warm me up a bit. Um, the dashboard, absolutely spot on. No, no tears, no scratches, no marks that I can see. It's all looking really, really nice. And get the mileage there, did we? 16,252 on the miles. So lovely little miles. So beautiful little car. So let's just have a little walk around to the passenger side, just to look at the upholstery. Just trying to show you all the, all the way across on one side. And we'll check the door card and out to this side. So, as with the driver's door, that door card's absolutely spot on and fine. So you've got your car parts down there, look, as well. With the Ford Cap logo. And the passenger seat, absolutely fine. I'll just pop that forward, just so you can see again from this side into the back, get my fat fingers out of the way so you can see that and again you've got your carpet mats in the rear look so carpet mats <coughs> put that back so there, beautiful little car lovely low mileage on a 65 plate, 60, over 16,000 miles not been anywhere really as I said these are great uh, we've been told historically these are really really good for obviously people just learning to drive they just passed the test, that was the first car so I don't think it'll hang about, it will hang about long this car. It is a Ford Kazitech on a 65 plate in silver. Thank you very much for watching the video.